Hello everyone, welcome back to Farmer's Dynasty. Today I'm going to try to get married. I know that sounds crazy, but I was playing a little bit off screen and decided to go give Janet a gift. And that's been about uh, an hour and a half ago, so I should be just about right to be able to give her another gift. Uh, when I gave her that gift, she had a red heart above her head, so I'm hoping that means we can get married. First, Good I want to sell you. some of the Good stuff we got this morning. Some of the uh, eggs and the milk. And one Here's of the string, string trimmers sure. that I picked up again, so that's pretty nice that we continue to get uh, string trimmers. Let's see, let's sell 21 of these and keep 20, as always. I want to sell one of those, and we'll sell all 25 of the milk. Perfect. There we go. And we do have a gold ring. This does seem to be the most expensive one. 300 euros, that's 180 euros. So we're going to give her the gold ring, and hopefully... We can get married today. Uh, I don't know what all this is going to entail. I don't know how long the process will be. So I want to do it kind of early and get it out of the way. This may end up being a short episode because I don't really know what I'm going to do after I get married. Uh, I guess we can uh, skip a day and just see if she makes stuff out of the stuff we have in the cupboard down there. Or in the pantry, I guess. Uh, if she makes things in the pantry, then uh, we'll, be in, we'll be in business. Because then we can start dropping stuff in the pantry. She can start making stuff and we can start selling it. We can make more money off stuff that is made. Um, as opposed to stuff that is raw materials, so eggs and milk, uh, that kind of stuff. We can make more money off condensed milk and off of uh, soups and that kind of thing. So, anyway, what's weird? Yesterday her hair was brown. Now it's silver again. So she has aged a lot in Hello a day. Hello there. Good morning, darling. Good morning, darling. Oh boy. Hey, we might be able to uh, might be able to do this. Uh, yep. Here we go. I've been thinking about it, and uh, I mean, will you marry me? Here we go, guys. I've been thinking about it, and I mean, will you marry me? Darling, I'm so happy. Hey, we're getting married. Later this evening. All right. We're getting married, folks. This is awesome. Screenshotting. I'm going to screenshot a bunch of this. So you guys know. That's what you're hearing going off in the background. I know it's annoying. I just want to make sure this is well documented. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh man, I love a little cutscene for marriage. This is awesome. This is great, guys. Look at this. Look at her. There she comes. She's coming down the aisle. We have three of our closest friends here. <laughs> this is amazing, guys. Oh, I don't like the screen wobble, though. That's kind of weird. This is going to be a good screenshot. This is probably the thumbnail right here. Right here. Maybe that one. I don't know. I'm just getting screenshot happy now. Awesome. We got married, guys. I didn't think it was ever going to happen, honestly. Achievement unlocked. Husband. Oh, man. She she sleeps like I do. <laughs> she flips over upside down in her sleep. That's funny. Um, And she sleeps with her eyes open? Is she dead? This is creepy. Um, hello? Your, your wife will help you caring for the farm. Uh oh, I missed that. Wish I'd have seen all of that. I was too concerned with the fact that she sleeps upside down and with her eyes open. This is just really creepy. I'm going to go milk the cows. Um, <laughs> all right, guys. Well, we managed to get married. That's amazing. I didn't think it was going to happen that quick, although Janet seemed pretty fond of us to begin with. So, All right, let's see what we have going on down here. We have fish. We have berries. We have mushrooms. We have milk. Regular milk, we have uh, tomatoes, cucumber, uh, zucchini, not cucumber, zucchini, pumpkins, and eggs. So let's see if she makes anything out of this stuff here. Uh, let's put some more eggs in here too, just because. So I think this just changed the whole dynamic of our game, to be quite honest. Like, I'm, I'm super excited. I didn't expect four minutes into this video to be married. Like, this is just, <laughs> this is just awesome. All right, let me do some cow milking, and I'll bring you back after I'm done. You see, you guys have seen me milk cows over and over again, so you don't need to watch it every time I do it. Alrighty, we've collected all the milk, and I'm going to go collect some eggs, but while I'm doing that, I'm going to let you know that I do have a show. Uh, I say a show. It's not a show. It's not a concert. Um, I have uh, some PA and a video wall to put up um, this coming weekend, so I will have some pre-recorded videos. I've got one already recorded. I was going to put it out last week, and I changed my mind. 
Uh, I'm going to try to do some Stardew Valley videos every other week. I really do enjoy Stardew Valley, and the multiplayer is coming up, and I'm really looking forward to it. So I hope you guys, um, uh, you know, you, you may not enjoy it, but if at least click on it, give it a chance. You know, check check it out and check out the game. Um, I really love the way the game is built. I love everything about it, really. I love playing it. Uh, I do get burnt out on every game from time to time, just as people do. You switch games up and you play different ones. And I think I was playing so much Stardew Valley that I just kind of burnt myself out. So I'm back playing it now, and I really do enjoy it. Uh, I took about two or three weeks off from playing it. And, uh, I, you know, just kind of got over that burnout process. And, and I'm, I'm I'm really starting to get into the, the, modded, the heavy modded part of it. So... Um, it's not heavily modded like Minecraft is. Don't don't think like heavily modded in that way. It's like using Farming Simulator mods, right? So the thing has just kind of changed the dynamic of the game slightly. It's nothing like uh, like you would think. So oh, we need to see if there's another string trimmer in the barn, don't we? So we can go sell it too. Uh, I don't know what time she gets up, so we're gonna have to go check and see what time she's actually awake. Also, we need to do. There's something you have to do. Oh man, we need to eat. Look at that. We are we are we are bad off there. Let's just fill on up. Uh, there's something you have to do. You have to tell her that she can have access to things. Is that right? I'm not real sure how this works, but uh, let's go see if she's awake yet. We still got that glitch on the roof there. There we, there we go. It's starting to fill in. Uh, it's just the one piece, though. None of the rest of them do it. So, uh, Still a few little graphical glitches and stuff that I'm sure they're working out. They're trying to work out, whatever. Um, big Hello? Big thanks to the UMEO team and the Toplitz team for... I don't know where she goes when she gets up. Hello? Honey, I'm home. Is she in the kitchen? No. Not not that a woman's place is in the kitchen. That's not what I'm saying. I'm I'm in the kitchen more more than uh, my girlfriend is, so um I just thought that maybe if she wasn't there, she'd be making herself some breakfast or something. I don't know. Down here? Nope. Okay. Well, where does she go when she gets up? Janet, hello. Did she go fishing? Might have went fishing. Is she still working on her tomato farm? These are questions I need answered. I need to wash that thing too. Uh, Janet, hello? You're not in the greenhouse, we just came from there. Alright, well let's go down here to the pond, see if she's here. Uh, either way, yeah, so I'm gonna try to get a few videos pre-recorded for this week. Uh, just so you guys have something to watch while I'm gone. I'm not gonna be gone every day, and I do plan on streaming still. Um, later today, if you're watching this right after release, and I do plan on streaming uh, tomorrow and Wednesday as well. So definitely, definitely, uh, don't think I'm gonna skip out on that. If at all possible, Wednesday for sure. Uh, but uh, I mean uh, Monday and Tuesday uh, for sure. So later today and uh, Tuesday. I don't know where she goes. She may be over there working the field still. I don't know. Let's go see. Good to see you. Sell some of this. Sure. We'll just sell all those because we need to, we need to keep making money. We need to keep making money. So we're up to twenty five thousand euros and seven seventy six thousand social points. Um, I'm assuming since we're married now, the social points are no longer a huge deal. So we might be able to get a severe discount on some of the stuff that we want to buy. And I don't plan on using them for the tractors. I want to use cash for the tractors, but I'll use them for the implements and the tools uh, to make the cost. Uh, less on those. Now, I mean, I know those are cheaper, but at the same time, I won't have to spend 90,000 social points and still spend, you know, 45,000 euros, for instance. I'll be able to spend 9,000 social points and 9,000 euros or something. So, I mean, it just makes more sense to do it that way. Uh, hello? Janet? Yeah, I don't know where to find Janet. There's Matthew. He just appeared out of nowhere. He wasn't here a second ago. What time is it? It's 7.21 a.m. She may be out roaming around. I don't know where she's at. So, uh, I was kind of hoping it would be a little more... Um, a little more in-depth once she got married. You'd, you'd figure out a little more about the person, but I guess not. Uh, I didn't expect it to go that easily, honestly. Uh, she really likes chocolates, though. So, if you want to marry Janet, give her chocolate. She likes it. Yeah, I don't know where to find her after you are married. Let's go back to the farm. Hello, Janet. Are you here? Janet. Yeah, also, I've, I've seen several requests, uh, and also in the poll that I did early on in the series, about uh, longer or shorter episodes. 
and I it, it was it was a little little over the majority that said longer episodes. So I think I'm gonna split the difference. I think I'm gonna try to stick with around thirty to thirty five minutes of these episodes uh, instead of forty or longer. Uh, I feel like forty five and longer videos tend to get uh, overlooked a lot because people don't have time to watch that much, right? Um, I have a good bit of time in the afternoons to put on a video and oh, there she is. She is cooking. Yeah, I figured she was in here cooking cooking breakfast. I'm busy. I'm busy. Oh, well, sorry. I was going to give you a compliment, but since you're busy. What are you making? You making uh you making some soup there? That's what it looks like. It looks like you're using the same spoon and you're and you're testing it and putting the spoon back in there. It's just gross woman. You don't you don't test it with the same spoon that you're using to stir. Nasty. Ugh. Okay, apparently she is not going to talk to us until she gets done doing what she is doing. So, um, let's go. Let's go see what our uh, stock looks like down here. I want to be sure of what we have. Oh, look at this! She made a pizza and she's made baked fish, so she is making stuff. That's a hundred nutrition. That's nice. Make two of those. So she is cooking up stuff, right? Oh, she's made four hamburger or three more hamburgers. Man, she is doing a number on this stuff. I wonder how much this stuff is worth. Let's uh, let's take it and sell it. <laughs> I, know, I know that's probably not the right thing to do, but uh, let's take, take a couple of cheeseburgers, too. I want to see how much they're worth. Uh, I can eat eggs. I don't care. I'm fine with eggs. Uh, if she's going to stand there and cook, then uh, we'll have more stuff in the pantry later. So that's super awesome that she's already making stuff for us. She's already made a pizza, and she's already made, uh, uh, what is this, baked fish? Baked fish, delicious and great nutritional value. Um, delicious food of great nutritional value. So that must be like a veggie pizza with uh, not a whole lot of red sauce and stuff on it. So, um, hamburgers are not really nutritional, but uh, there's a lot of bread involved. And the red meat, too much red meat, I guess. Uh, that kind of... There, there's good kinds of red meat. Good to see you. Protein and stuff, you. but uh, I'm not really a, uh, a food connoisseur. I like all trade. foods. I don't really care what it looks like. Sure. So. What do you need? Let's see how much this is worth. That's what I want to know. 32 euros each. 96 euros for three cheeseburgers. 36 euros for two baked fish is 72 euros. That is awesome. 40 euros for a pizza. Holy moly, guys. We're going to make a killing off of this guy. I don't know what he does with the rest of his stuff, though. We're going to run out of room to sell to him eventually. Um, does this reset... I don't know if this resets at all. We're going to go ahead and buy all four of those because I know she likes them. So I don't know if that stuff resets or not. Like, I wish that at some point, you know, he would start selling his stuff to somebody else. Um, that way we could uh, we'd have more room to sell to him, you know. It just makes more... Uh, what, what are you doing out here now? Can we talk now? Darling... Good morning, darling. That's a terrible southern accent, by the way. <laughs> That's a terrible southern accent. Let's give her a... Uh, so beautiful. I wish I'd dream about you tonight. Give her a compliment. It's so nice to hear. Thank you. All right. Yep. Okay, so we still darling. got the red heart. That's good. Good morning. Uh. Nice to see you, love. How are you? There's some work with the cows, but the milk is delicious. And additional money makes it worth it. That is true. It does make it worth it for sure. All right. So it changes I the sugar. dialogue for sure because Good now we have different uh, you. different um, terms of endearment, I guess. So there's lots of different things that they say to each other is really neat. Um, and also it changed the gift to this. I'm off to so. work. Have a great day. Bye, sweetheart. Yeah, so the dialogue has changed a lot. I think that's really fantastic, honestly. And a lot of you guys already know this because a lot of you are already married. But for me, this is fantastic. I didn't expect this anytime soon. I thought it was going to be at least another week, uh, real lifetime, before we got to do this. So, uh, very cool, man. Very cool. We got married. She is making... Let's go back to the pantry and see if she made anything else before she left. So, she may only make a couple of dishes a day. I'm not sure. But... Those couple of dishes are, that's a couple hundred dollars, you know. I mean, that's a, that's a lot. Uh, yep, so it looks like that's all she made for the day, so that's not bad, though. Uh, we're going to move 
uh, all of this stuff over the pantry as we do not need it. I don't have a storage shelf to put any of that anywhere, so uh, let's put those in the pantry. We'll keep the chainsaw and the fishing pole on us. We may want to go do some fishing later uh, and keep the eggs to drink. I mean, to eat, to drink. We'll keep the eggs to eat. And I have been working on two fields. And this is my thought process. These fields are going to be done in another... Um, let's see, it's the 12th of May. So these fields are going to be done in another probably... Um, 18 days or so, I guess. Uh, so we need to get started on some other ones. And I thought to myself, why stress myself out on trying to get uh, enough manure... There we go. Enough manure, uh, or just put a basic lay level of manure down. So just whatever's in the tank, we'll just do that and then and then fertilize and, and seed, right? Uh, I didn't plow the fields, I just cultivated them because I don't feel like plowing, to be quite honest. Um, and I, I, I've heard that the bit, the other plow doesn't make that much difference, but there is a, an update coming. Uh, in the roadmap, originally, I haven't looked at it lately, but originally in the roadmap, there was an addition of hiring helpers. Right, and I don't know if you can hire helpers to plow or not, but I'm hoping they do. That way I can have somebody plowing a field while I'm doing something else. And then when they get done plowing, I'll put them plowing a different field and I'll start cultivating and doing all the rest of the stuff on that field itself. Right, so uh, we can kind of do a chain of them plowing and then me coming behind them and cultivating or plowing, cultivating, and then me come behind and fertilize and seed. So uh, I feel like we can really... Uh, turn this five-step process into a two or three-step process or a three or four-step process either way uh, By just hiring a helper to do one of the steps it would make it fantastic to be quite honest So that, that way we wouldn't have to worry so much about doing all five steps and plowing takes forever so <laughs> uh, It's got to be done. Yes, but at the same time. I don't want to do it. So why do that when I can hire somebody to do it? Um, and we are still working toward our goal of buying the lender uh, the 134 or whatever it is, the yellow one. We're still working toward our goal of buying that. Now, if the other tractor was about 50,000 euros, I would say we would buy that one. Uh, because we have the money almost to buy that one right this second. But it's 76,000 euros, not 50,000. I was hoping it would be a lot less, and it's not a lot less. It's only about 15,000 euro difference, or 16,000 euro difference uh, for the two tractors. And at that point, I would rather just save and buy the but the bigger tractor, the one with the bigger, better horsepower and all that kind of stuff. So why not, right? I don't I don't see the point in buying the small one first. It doesn't make sense to do that. So, um, but either way, yeah. So I got a, got a couple of uh, things I got to do this weekend. But uh, other than that, uh, the regular schedule should be on. I should be streaming later today. So if you're watching this right after release, I should be streaming at a fairly normal time. I think I'm gonna try to start at 11:30 and end at 1:30. Uh, or maybe 11.45, end at 1.45, something like that. But uh, I am going to stream about two hours, hour and a half to two hours. It's not going to be much uh, much longer than that. Uh, I do enjoy hanging out with you guys, and a lot of times I overlook how long I've been streaming anyway. And originally my plan was just an hour and a half. you know. So uh, I've been going a little bit long lately just because I've been enjoying it. I've been enjoying hanging out with everybody and chatting with everybody, that kind of stuff. So uh, when, you sit, when you sit in a room and talk to yourself for three or four hours a day and then edit videos and stuff, you like you're going crazy talking to nobody you know which i am i'm talking to you guys and, and and the comments and stuff are great and i appreciate everybody that watches and comments and let me know you know how good of a job i'm doing and all that kind of stuff what you guys don't know is um without you guys it would not be near the the quality of the content that it is honestly um oh i didn't realize this was our field and i could have done this field Oh well, we did the uh, one one and a half uh, hectare field here, and then the one next to it is the one I uh, put manure down on. Uh, I got this entire one done, I think. There, there's it's like 85 or 86 uh, percent with manure, but I it's it's so hard to see the manure lines, right? So um, I don't know if these these lines right here matter, the the light ones, but I know that like this right here, right? But that one, pretty sure that matters. And then this right here, does this matter? Let's see if that's going away. That is going away. So we can manure, put manure down a little further, but that's at 86%. That's not too bad. So we'll run these lines a couple times here just to try to fill in around some of this that I didn't get. Stop that. And the manure keeps running after you, uh, after you stop the process of it dropping it but it doesn't actually use anymore. So once you do this and you hit stop, you still see it running, but the, the actual count is stopped. So 
Uh, we should be able to get this to pretty close to 90%. Um, I feel like 90% is probably about close enough for now. I'm not going for the 10 fields achievement right this second. I'm going to wait till I get all of the modern equipment to do that and maybe even able to hire some help it would be fantastic because I think that would put us closer uh, to the ability to do so. I don't know if this counts toward the percentage or not. That's 87%. You know we can get some more of this right here though. Still 87%. Let's go up this mark right here. I know the camera's really bouncy. Sorry guys. Let's go up through here. See if that changes. That's 88%. Yeah, so there, there, there's a few places that we did miss a big chunk of. So, uh, you know what? I'm just going to go with 88% because we have 50% of this left. I think we can do uh, m finish the majority of this field over here. I'm not positive on that, but I think we can finish most of this. So I may knock this out real quick and then bring you back. Because you, you've put manure down yourself. You have uh, watched me do it. Um, also, I do plan on doing. You guys let me know if this is something you'd like to see. Um, and I will give shout outs where needed when I, if I do it. When and if I do it. Uh, I feel like a lot of people are overlooking some stuff that's not really known in the game, right? So um, I feel like I'm going to do a video on... Uh, just strategic uh, hints and tips and stuff for for beginners of the game. You no, know, because the game is now back out on sale for release. It's it's back out on release on release. It's it's back on Steam, released for sale again. So uh, I'm stumbling over my words today, but uh, yeah, it's back on Steam. You can buy it now, and I feel like there's a lot of new players out there that've been watching videos. A lot of people are just doing let's plays and stuff. And uh, Bamrack brought up the idea of maybe doing uh, some helpful tutorials. So like uh, top five things you need to know when you get started, stuff like that. I don't normally do those, but I feel like uh, I feel like that might be a good thing for people because I really enjoy this game and I really want to see it uh, do well, and I really want to see people enjoy it and do well in their gameplay. So uh, if that helps one person out of you know everybody that watches it, then I would feel like it was worth doing. So uh, I may do one of those. It's not going to be um, it's not going to be like today or tomorrow or anything. I'm not going to put it out later after this episode. It's not it's not the way I'm going to do it. Uh, but I feel like it would definitely help uh, you guys let me know your thoughts on that I really appreciate the community feedback and all the support you guys have given me so I am when I ask I genuinely mean you know let me know because if, if you have a different theory on that then I'm more than open to it you know but uh, I, I like hearing from you guys I like hearing your opinions on the strategy of gameplay or just ideas you might have stuff like that and uh, the more you throw those out there the more my content can improve so I'm trying to I'm trying to use uh, I'm using you. That's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm just using you and then I'm throwing you away. No, not really. Um, I'm using your input and what you guys like to see because you are the ones that watch and enjoy the videos, right? So I'm using your input and what you guys want to see to further better the content in which you are watching. Because I'm creating the content, I'm still getting to play the game that I want to play, right? It's not hurting my feelings at all uh, to change things around a little bit uh, or to do a different video from time to time, stuff like that. Uh, I do plan on doing some subsistence, subsistence, uh, the game. Uh, it was gifted to me, and the game's gifted to me. I do try to uh, at least do um, uh, at least a short series, maybe some helpful tips and tricks and stuff once I figure more out about the game. Uh, it seems like a crafting build game that you have to survive on, but you're not playing against other players. You're playing against uh, the environment and NPCs. So it's a, it's a pretty crazy looking game. Uh, also, Fishing Baron at Sea, I'm going to continue doing as well. Uh, tomorrow we'll probably live stream some of that as Tuesday I typically live stream uh, Fishing Baron C so probably do some of that tomorrow as well uh, and then Wednesday since I haven't done Gold Rush in a while I had planned on moving claims I think I'm just gonna wait for an update on Gold Rush guys I kind of feel myself starting to burn out on it because I feel like we get in the thing and we dig and then we empty dirt and then we empty gold buckets and that kind of stuff so um, uh, after playing you, got, you guys gotta realize I spend um, like an hour or two doing research and making thumbnails, that kind of stuff every day. I spend uh, maybe two hours recording and then I stream for an hour and a half or two hours and then I edit for about five hours and then uh, in there somewhere later in the day I cook dinner for the family and then go have dinner and that kind of stuff and then I come back finish editing and then I upload my video for the next day or the two videos for the next day when I was doing two a day. So I have spent a lot of time behind this computer for the last three months and I'm not a big content creator, man. There are guys out there that do uh, two or three videos daily, you know, and 
they're doing it all themselves too and it, it you know i have a, i have a lot of respect for people in this in this uh in this market that that do stuff themselves um it, it's a lot of work it really is so by the time it's not necessarily that i play so much of the game that i burn myself out it's that i look at the game so much that i burn myself out you know it's like i'm just tired of looking at it just don't want to do it anymore i don't want to mess with it but uh you know, I think it's one of those things. So I'm going to hold off on Gold Rush for another week. And uh, maybe next week. Maybe next week we'll get back on some Gold Rush. But uh, I am going to start dropping some series uh, as my busy season rolls in. So um, this week we are in basically the first few days of March toward the end of the week. Middle and end of the week here. So um, definitely keep that in mind that uh, starting April 1st, first weekend of April through about the uh, middle of June... I am going to be just slammed packed with work, which is nice because um, most of my annual income, believe it or not, comes from April, May, and June. I know that's hard to believe, but it's true. It's, that's most of my annual income. It's like uh, I'm a crab fisherman that doesn't make quite the same money as a crab fisherman. <laughs> so uh, they work, you know, two, three months out of the year, and they make uh, most of their income in those two or three months. And that's kind of me. I mean, I make, you know, make most of my annual income out of those three months. So. Um, I do work the rest of the year. I mean, I do work through, uh, like, October. But I don't have quite as many shows toward the end of the year. As it starts cooling off and stuff, we have a couple more festivals kick back up. Uh, in the summer, I don't have near the amount of festivals that I do in the spring. Um, I hope to add more festivals. I really do. I hope to add more shows and gigs and other stuff that I can, uh, I can make some more money on, which would mean uh, continued less videos. But... Um, that is my primary source of income. That is how I put food on the table for the family. So I am not going to, um, not going to turn it down, just to make videos. So sorry, guys. <laughs> I can't do. I can't do that. I still got responsibilities I got to take care of, and you guys understand that. I know. So I know all of you guys get it, and all you guys understand. So, um, all right. I think that's going to just about do it for the manuring, and I was going to skip all that, but I, I feel like uh, uh, just catching up and catching you guys up on where I'm at with uh life in general and uh that kind of stuff also all you guys have told me happy birthday on friday i very much appreciate it i had a wonderful birthday we went out to dinner we went and ate uh hibachi at a local uh, japanese restaurant here in town that uh just opened up a month or so ago i'd never been there and i wanted to go try it out so we went and tried that out and i want to grab some mushrooms or a mushroom where'd it go i'm using my controllers this might look kind of weird um, there we go. Any more right here? Aha, some strawberries, though. There we go. Yep, there's some more strawberries. So these things kind of are hard to see, unless you're using this thing. And I saw, I see, somebody mentioned that, you know, when you're doing this, it's actually easier to see them. It is, but looking out here in the tall grass and stuff, they're kind of hard to spot, honestly. Uh, see, there's the mushroom right there that I didn't even see to begin with. Maybe it's just my eyesight. Maybe my eyesight's messing with me. All right. Well, there's a couple of mushrooms anyway. Let's get back over to the farm. Uh, but yeah, I kind of just wanted to update everybody on, on you know, that kind of stuff and thank everybody for the birthday wishes. And I had a good time. And um, they actually came out and sang happy birthday in Japanese, which is really nice because I've never experienced something like that. So for me, the, the culture difference and, and you know, hearing, hearing them sing Happy Birthday in Japanese was just a new experience for me. It was fantastic. Very much appreciate the restaurant and, uh, and that kind of stuff for, for the, uh, the unique way they do birthdays. Uh, it's very nice of them. Um, I know different cultures have different ways of celebrating birthdays and things. So it was just very nice of them to come out and sing it in Japanese. A lot of fun. Uh, I got to hang out with my mom, all that kind of stuff. Uh, also, week after next, I'm going to be out of town for an entire weekend. So, um, uh, so the 10th, I'm going to be out of town for that entire weekend, whatever weekend that is. I think it's 9th, 10th, and 11th, or 10th, 11th, 12th, whatever it is. So Friday through Sunday, I'm going to be out of town the whole weekend, which means on Monday, I will not have a Farmer's Dynasty video released uh, in the morning. I will probably be doing a live stream of it, which I'm sure is fine, because I know a lot of people like coming and hanging out in the live streams, and I enjoy it as well. So, um, uh, also this Thursday, I may try to do a live stream. I can't promise anything, so don't hold me to it. It may just be another Farmer's Dynasty video. So, don't hold me to a live stream on Thursday. Uh, it may not happen. 
but I'm going to try to because I know you guys enjoy it and I definitely enjoy it. Now, where was I going with the gaming stuff? Oh yes, my, my schedule is still completely thrown out the window. I'm going to have to sit down and really think about it and really redo the schedule at some point. Uh, our friends across the street from us are cooking uh, steak dinner tonight for, for where they because they didn't get to go last night. So uh, I, I very much appreciate them. They're a big, they're a huge, huge part of our lives. Uh, great people, they're, they're family more than they are anything else. So, um, but yeah, so I'll be, I'll be doing that uh, later tonight. And um, I really need to sit down and think about my schedule though, because coming up, uh, I'm going to have to start planning and my schedule is going to vary once busy season sets in as well. I do want to point that out. My, my, my schedule is definitely going to vary. It's going to go from uh, me having Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday off to me having Monday and Tuesday off to me having Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday off, me being back home Sunday because it was just a Friday show or me not being home at all that week. I'm going to have a couple of weeks like that where I'm not going to be able to do a single video. So don't give up on me, guys. I promise I'm going to stick with the videos. I'm going to keep doing them. Not as many, of course, because I'm not going to have the same amount of time that I have now. But I am going to try to maybe record some while I'm at home uh, for the next week. So I may try to get a week ahead of stuff, which means comments are going to be a week behind on the actual gameplay that I'm putting out. But... I figure that better than just skipping a week or two or three weeks altogether not putting out a video because I don't want to do that. I want you guys to have the content that you enjoy. So to do that, I'm going to have to pre-record uh, and get a week ahead before the first weekend of April um, for a couple of videos. And I may be able to record and then take the footage and stuff out of town with me and edit and maybe upload it. Uh, I've got free data. so. Uh, I've got unlimited data usage. It's not free, of course, but I have unlimited data usage, so I might be able to upload it from out of town um, via my laptop or something. Edit and edit and upload on my laptop. That might be a possibility. I don't know. Uh, that's something we'll have to work out as, as time gets closer. Let's get off of this guy. I'm going to slap my microphone stand because that's what I do. I'm about to order me a boom arm for my mic. I'm, t I'm tired of using the mic stand. I'm using the mic stand because, well, I deal with mic stands on a regular basis and I had some parts laying around. So I put one together. Um, but it, it would be really nice to have a boom arm that, that is up above and out of the way instead of a mic stand sitting to my right, which is what is going on at the moment. So, uh, Also, remember, at 500 subscribers, I'm giving away a copy of Farmer's Dynasty. Keep that in mind. Write it down. Share it with everybody. If you want to see uh, Farmer's Dynasty in your Steam inventory in a giveaway, I'm going to do one after I hit 500 subscribers, and I'm going to do it similar to the way I did a uh, Pantry Beat giveaway. I'm going to do a, uh, I think it's Gleam, um, and the the only the only stipulation is we'll, we'll be subscribed to the channel, and that is it. So once you're subscribed to the channel, you are entered, and then I will hold a giveaway. There is no duplicate uh, way to enter. There will be no double entries, nothing like that. Short of you making spam accounts and, uh, and entering multiple times, um, that will be it. But I must warn you, I got rid of over 2,500 entries on the Pantropy giveaway uh, because they were the same IP address. So they were just different names. Uh, Gleam actually keeps up with all that. It shows you duplicate accounts and um, uh, duplicate entries from the same uh, address, whatever. So uh, if you plan on making a bunch of accounts to enter, don't bother because I will see that they are duplicate entries and they will be invalid. Uh, but yeah, if you want to see it, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel and make sure you share it around. And when we hit 500 subscribers, I will make sure that I get a video a, a video set up specifically for the giveaway with a, a link below to how to enter it. Um, but it will be for Farmer's Dynasty. So if you don't have Farmer's Dynasty and you were kind of looking to get it, this is your opportunity to maybe, maybe gain a copy of it. So, uh, and then share it around for people that you know that may want it. You know, but they don't want to pay the 30 bucks for it. You know, they just want a free copy. Share that around. So make sure everybody knows. Let's talk to Janet again, see what she has Hi, to sugar. say. Hi, Sugar. Hello, darling. Hello, darling. Uh, no flower is as beautiful as you are. See if there's anything she needs. Is there something you need, darling? No, not at the moment. Hmm, okay. Well, I was hoping that would kind of change, too. No flower is as beautiful no as you are. No flower is as beautiful as you are. It's so nice to hear. Thank you. Wow, you're welcome. All right. Uh, I think that is going to pretty much do it uh, for the day. This has been one full day. You know, I guess I could. We got that field mostly uh, mostly covered in manure. 
And I could go ahead and just disconnect from this thing. Oh, it's still doing that thing where it puts us in third third person. And then go get uh, our cedar out and maybe go seed that field. But I may do that off camera. Uh, we've, we've been on the tractor a lot and we've done some running around and we've gotten married. Uh, we haven't done any side jobs. We need to go do a side job. Let's go see if we can find somebody's uh, building to fix or a transport mission or something. I want to see if it goes back to the shady fellow in the south down there because I'm pretty sure it's going to. Let me enter this and get this filled up real quick. It is filled with grass, so let's get rid of that. Let's do canola. There we go. Uh, it is full. Perfect. All right, let's hop off of here. So we can get rid of that noise. Let's find something we need to do. Let's plow a field. Let's plow a field. What else we got? We got uh, plow the field. And it looks like that's going to be it. It's all plowing fields, and we're not going to plow any fields today. So uh, I'm going to seed and stuff off camera. Let me go check the greenhouse. I didn't think about that. No, nothing. Okay. All right. Well, I think that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I really hope you enjoyed. I cannot believe we actually got married today. That is fantastic. Uh, I thought for sure I was going to start recording and it wasn't going to work. I didn't even I didn't even save and then reload one just to just to be sure that it was going to work. So I just I literally started recording and fired it up and just went with it. Uh, I need to move some of this over. Move these over and move these over and go ahead and move uh, six of those over. I'll eat the other four. There we go. Uh, it's nice to be able to clear out our inventory a little bit here and, you know, make some extra money because, well, baked fish and uh, pizza. Pizza is 40 euros for a pizza. That's pretty nice. I'm guessing we have, a, have to have a certain amount of mushrooms in there to make pizza. That would make sense. So I'm going to go on some mushroom hunting sprees at some point when I'm rambling as well. Uh, but for now, that is going to do it for me, guys. I appreciate everybody so much for watching. Uh, be sure to check the description below for all my links to all the social medias uh the patreon if you want to support the channel further you can do so there i have a one dollar and a five dollar patron you're you're not uh not expected to it is definitely not needed but it is always very much appreciated uh to become a patron uh, you get uh special rooms in my discord and uh also i post i upload pictures of stuff of shows that I don't upload on public social media like Twitter or Instagram. Uh, I'm looking around for mushrooms if you guys are wondering why I'm just spinning around here. I know it makes people sick. I'm trying to go slower. Uh, but yeah, I, up I upload pictures of shows that I do not upload to Twitter or Instagram or Facebook on Patreon just for you guys. Um, and anything else interesting I see while I'm traveling too. So there are, I still upload public pictures to Patreon, uh, but they're not they're not quite as the same as the, uh, the patron-only pictures. So... Uh, what I will never do is make a separate class of patron for certain pictures, right? So if you're a patron, you get the pictures. Uh, the only difference is you get some Discord bonuses if you're a $5 patron. Uh, and you're very much appreciated. I will always appreciate you forever and always. Uh, but also there's a Steam group down below, which is more important than Patreon. I just wanted to point out the Patreon thing because if you don't know what perks you're getting, you're less likely to uh, to even look at it. And if you feel like you need to support the channel or you want to support the channel more, then that's a good way to do it and get a little something in return. You know, it's not a whole lot, but uh, it is a way to get something in return. So, uh, but yeah, the Steam group down below, I post a lot of update stuff, a lot of when I'm going live, a lot of when I will be doing something special, whatever. I haven't planned a special event or anything yet. I do plan on kind of uh, planning some kind of uh, event for the outhouse community at some point, but I'm not real sure what to do with it. I'm not sure how to do whatever I want to do yet either. So it depends on what we come up with uh, to do that kind of stuff. But uh, that's where I will post it. Make sure you hit that Steam group link and go join up. Uh, also, if you want to come in and hang out with people, join the Discord because the Discord is fairly active these days. So uh, come in and hang out with us, talk to us, all that kind of stuff. Um, be much appreciated. And above all, make sure you, if you're new, hit subscribe on the channel button below, on the subscribe button below, and hit the little bell next to it to possibly get notified because, well, YouTube's been dropping the ball lately on notifications and basically everything else. So uh, if you want to maybe get a notification when I upload new videos, new content, make sure you clip the, clip, click that bell next to the subscription button. Uh, and that's going to do it for me, guys. I'll appreciate you all, and I will see you in the next one. Later, everybody.